and welcome to Darth Snoogan's Tool Reviews. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Tomax and Zamoth. Cool, classic characters from the 80s. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I really dig these guys. These are number 44 and 45. Uh, this is an older release. There's a new release that uh, actually I think it's just starting to ship now. Uh, it, it, that uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it's a, a crimson set or whatever. It's got those guys with uh, Baroness. Very cool set. Uh, so yeah, those are shipping now from Hasbro. This is the first release. I picked these up on Walmart.com. I think I want to say they were like fourteen ninety seven each, which you know it's. Not as cheap as I would have liked them to be, but below typical retail. Uh, some of these have been showing up in Ollie's for $4.99 as well. Uh, I didn't have that kind of luck, but uh, at 15 bucks, I figure why not. Uh, I'm a fan of these guys, uh, so I was glad to pick these up. So yeah, like I said, $44.45. Here's their artwork, and as uh, you can tell, they are twin brothers. And there's our uh, artwork on the back. Nothing too special. So yeah, we'll get these guys out of the packages. Take a look at them. As you can see, everything's pretty much identical as far as your accessories. Uh, and these guys are just mirror images of each other. And that's always been their shtick. Uh, Zaymod over here has a scar on his face. Whereas uh, Tomax does not. Uh, I'll put some more information up throughout the video. Uh, showing some uh, images of the original figures and of uh, maybe some images from the cartoon series. But yeah, it's a cool set of figures. Figure why not? Let's take a look at them. So we'll get them out of the package and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we got our guys out of the packages. I went ahead and put them on some NECA stands just to make this a little bit easier to display them. Uh, and for Tomax, I went ahead and put his gun together and put his uh, blades in the little sheaths, but uh, so we didn't have to double this. So with Zamot, we'll go ahead and you can see over on his side, he's got a sheath for that blade. And then on his ankle, he has another one for the other blade. And as far as the gun is concerned, uh, it's got... Uh, this little barrel extension or silencer. I, I believe it's a, supposed to be a silencer that you can add on to it. And then you also have your magazine that you can add to it. So, and I believe with these guys, uh, Zaymot is uh, right or left-handed. Or Tomax is left-handed and Zaymot is right-handed. Like I said, they're mirroring each other. So they're opposites even though they are identical twins. So you can see with the armor. These are really nice. I really dig, <laughs> really dig these figures. They're fun. They were a kooky concept on the old cartoon series. See the uh, scar on his uh, left cheek. It's pretty cool. And these guys were so weird. They would like finish each other's sentences and uh, you know, like I believe one one got hurt, the other one felt the pain. So yeah. You must be more careful. Overall, I would say these guys were a fun addition uh, to the GI Joe line. Uh, you know, as far as uh, <laughs> soldiers for Cobra, intelligence officers, they were great. So yeah, these are these are fun figures. They did a really good job on these of making them look like the vintage uh, vintage characters. They kept them very uh, very close to the originals. Uh, let's check out we'll check out some articulation here real quick. These guys feel pretty stout. They're not they don't feel loose like some of the other ones do. Do you have a good ab crunch? Of course. Your head's only limited by the shoulder piece. As you can see, the uh, the actual neck kind of moves as well. Can't tell, it doesn't look like it's, eh, yeah, it's probably on a ball socket as well. 
you do have double jointed elbows you can see it but and they are pinless which is nice but you don't really get that whole, that movement as, as well as you probably should but uh, i guess the bicep kind of stops it of course you got the rotation on the hands and you can rotate at the waist you got a cut in the upper thigh let's check the uh foot you can pivot and the knees the knees are double jointed so these guys actually have a really good amount of uh, articulation everything seems to work fairly well you just can't really turn that head all the way around uh, because of the the shoulder piece very nice these feel like really good solid figures Not that I really need to sell them. These are an older figure. If you haven't picked this one up already, you may not even care about it. It may not be something that's even on your radar. Uh, but if you follow the channel, you know that I just do videos on stuff that I pick up. If you don't like it, you don't watch it, that's, you know, I can't, I can't stress about that too much. I've put a lot of videos up where I really, really enjoyed the figure. And I thought, oh, this is great. This is a great deal. I got a good figure. Ten people watch it. So you never know what someone's going to watch. I do my best. I realize most people are watching my channel for Motu stuff. That's kind of how I've built the channel up. But there are other toy lines that I do like to take a look at. Uh, especially when I can get good deals. So, yeah. So if you're into uh, G.I. Joe... Eh, maybe you should subscribe to the channel because I, I do have a lot of G.I. Joe classified figures still in the packages that I can do videos on. Uh, so yeah, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Are you into these? Do you think they're a waste? Or are you just holding out waiting for that new set that just came out? Which is a pretty rad set, if I'm being honest. Uh, the, the coloring and stuff on them because they have the red outfits is superb the baroness in that set is amazing she's got the uh, metal vac uh, paint on her chest is really cool but anyway i'm rambling hey let me know your thoughts as always i appreciate you guys uh, sticking around watching another video and uh if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel give the video a like hey share it on facebook share it with your friends maybe someone else would be interested in in the stuff that's going on over here on this channel so I appreciate everybody. You have a great day, and I'll see you next time.